Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I've just finished my head shave using the Mongoose single edge razor. I'll be using it for my full face shave as well today. And I'll be using the Elvado products once again for the final time for a little while. I've used them for the last four days, all four scents that are available. And I'll be finishing off today using Royal Tahitian Lime, which it's got here is made with avocado and shea butter. Now the, the Royal Tahitian Lime, now, it smells obviously it's got lime in there it's probably the most prevalent 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 scent in there but it's also got orange and lime in and it's just a very citrusy beautiful scent it's got a little hint of woods in the back and it's just lovely good scent strength of five to six when it's sort of lathered up and it just stays there it's great and the post shave products are good as well but metered pump so you know how much you're getting every time you use it i will be using a bowl today why not let's mix it up a bit i've rubbed it on my face and lathered it i've lathered it straight from the brush now I'm going to use a brush and whip it up in the bowl. So there's my shave bowl, it's my Saponificio Barracino shaving grill. And I'm just going to pump two pumps into the bowl. Just run it round the sides, that's one pump. Two. So it pretty much looks like that. So it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, and to be honest with you, there isn't a lot in there. But it lathers up an absolute treat. Pop the lid back on. I'm just going to dip the brush. The brush today is the Brush Guy brush made by Matt Martin over in the States who last year retired from the Navy and has also retired from making brushes unfortunately. These brushes are amazing to use. They're not everyone's cup of tea to look at and I have to be honest with you they weren't my cup of tea to look at either but the actual turn, the cast on this is phenomenal. There's no tooling marks, no machining marks on it. And the ergonomics of this brush are as good, if not better, than any brush I've ever used. So that's another main, main thing about it. Right, so I'm going to dip the brush in the water, just squeeze out the excess, leave a little bit of water in there because I'm going to need some with the cream. So as you can see, that's really watery. It won't be when I'm finished. Now, I am not by any means a great bowl lather at all. You would think bowl lathering would be quite easy, you'd be able to look at the lather and actually build it and get it spawn, but I struggle with it now. It was my sort of go-to method in the beginning, two years ago, when I first started wet shaving, because it was it was just easy. It was easier to get a lather in a bowl for me. It, it whipped up easier, and I wasn't very confident at all using, using a face lather. I used to always screw it up and of course, I'm at a stage now with my face lathering where I don't normally, or very, very rarely have a bad face lather unless it's a pretty average soap. Or I just have a bad day. So I'm just going to keep mixing this until it doesn't grow anymore. It's really, really dry still, so it's going to need a little bit more water. I'll just show you what's sort of growing already. So. That stuff there, it's not airy, but it's it's really, really dry. So I'm just going to dip pretty much the whole brush in the water, not just the tips, the, the whole knot. Straight back in and you can see it's starting to really build now. So I've got absolutely no prep today. I had my shower pr roughly two hours ago. Another dip in the water. So normally what I would do is just dip the tips with thirsty soaps and creams. I generally dip the whole knot right in the water and straight back out. You lose a little bit of the, you don't lose the lather in the water, but it just takes some of the lather off the top of your brush and then just straight back into the bowl again. So I'm getting there now, as you can see, I'm all losing out the bottom. So it's starting to get nice little meringue peaks on there. Starting to get a bit of a sheen to it. So another full dip again. It's an amazing brush to bowl lather with as well, I find, because of the ergonomics of the brush and the length of the handle and also the, 
this type of knot as well, the game changer knot or the boss knot as this one's called, make a big difference for me. So I think that's pretty much good enough. You, you won't get really a better lather than that. Just give it another bit of a whip. I may have to add a little bit more water when it's on the face, but we'll see. But that for me is absolutely stunning lather. So, let's wet the face. And get the lather on. So I'm just going to sort of face lather just a little bit. Not much. Just to help smash the bristles around a little bit. Even though I've only been, it's only been like 24 hours since I shaved. But just to just to assist a little bit in actually getting the bristles lifted. Look at that. Ninety-two percent organic product. This cream, hundred percent high-quality essential oils. And boy, can't you tell? That looks absolutely sensational. That's the best bowl lather I've had in a very long time. It really is. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, razor of choice today is the mongoose single edge razor I didn't check the weight on this but it's bloody heavy I used it for the head shave and it was it was actually a quite a nice comfortable shave I did get BBS with it but it's just far too heavy for me it's quite a clumpy big cumbersome razor it's really built for a man's man you know I'm, I'm more of a woman's man really but built for a man's man you sort of rough and tumble sort of bloke big heavy chunky razor and yeah look it was good on my head, I didn't seem to get any drag with it on my head. I found a better angle with it and hopefully it works the same for my face. Now third use on the Kai Captain Mild, which I'm looking forward to. So here we go, with the green. There's the rain back on. The weather over here at the moment has been atrocious. Just nothing, it's nothing like using that calf, it really isn't. It's just not as smooth. Now, these blades are a lot thicker than a double edged blade, probably three to four times the thickness. They're, they're quite hard to not hard to bend, but you've got to give them a bit of a bend to bend them. Obviously, DE blades just bend very easily, even the thicker ones, like the vintage razors ones that I've got. Right, first pass done. Now it's comfortable, I don't feel like I've got any irritation from that. The audible feedback is okay, but it doesn't really make much audible feedback. It's such a heavy duty razor, it holds that blade rigid in there.
Now, I could add water to this and whip it up more, but I don't have to. It's lovely, the scent's beautiful. Right, across the grain. Now one thing I do like about this razor and the, the Colonial General, I do like the wider blade, it's quite nice, it does cover more of your face, you can sort of get through a pass or a, a swipe at least, obviously with less, less passes over your face I suppose. The Kai Captain Mail blade's smooth, it's not it's not uncomfortable whatsoever. It gets pretty close. It doesn't get as close. In my opinion, as a DE blade, but it does pretty good. It definitely gets closer than the supply razor blades, the injector blades. For me, it definitely does. So that's a, that's a sort of bonus for this sort of razor. I think it's obviously the blades that are used. They're just ever so slightly sharper. I think I'm only guessing, but I think that's what it is. Right, back into the bowl, I'm just going to invigorate what else is left in here. Scoop it all out and look at that. Two pumps of cream, that was it. For a ladder that you can get from really high-end soaps easily. It feels dense, it feels creamy. It's definitely better from the pump. I don't know whether he's upgraded his formula, but it's better the, from the pump than it was from the old silver tins. Definitely 100% better. But really, I think you'd be daft not to have this in your den. It's probably the best travel product, shaving product, that I think you can have in the den. It complies with carry-on luggage, I believe. I think 100ml is what you can carry on. 100 grams is equivalent of 100ml. So, technically it's a solid anyway. Even though it's a cream, it's technically it should be based as a solid because it's not actually a liquid. I think, I think, I'm not hundred percent sure, but obviously you'd have to check with your carrier if you're flying. But I'm pretty sure you can take this on the plane with you, as it is a hundred mil anyway, a hundred grams. Because it's it, for me, because it's actually shown in the bottle in grams, that would suggest to me. That it is a solid and it's not actually deemed a liquid. It's very nice for getting under here though, I have to say. You just run that flat bit there straight along the bridge of your nose, straight along here, and just scoop it down, and it gets right up under your nose. There's absolutely no, no issues with that for sure.
that's pretty damn close. Like I say, it's no car freezer, it doesn't get as close as that. And part, part of that is because of the blade. It's not as thin a blade with a sharpened edge on it, essentially. For me, these blades would probably borderline more on what a straight razor would feel like in terms of that thicker blade with a th thicker sharp edge on it. Right, I'm just going to rub a little bit of lather on my lips, around my lips. Not on my lips, but around my lips, around my... Just tidy up. Pretty exceptional shave, really. One thing I will say for it, which is nice. I could every day shave with it. I could use that every day without getting any real major irritation or any any problems with it. I mean, I've had two shaves with it now, this side yesterday, and then the full shave today, and I'm weeper free and nick free. So I can't really argue with that, I really can't. Right, okay, let me have a look. Um, so, I'm just get a splash of this on. Elvaro Royal Tahitian Lime after shave tonic. Now this is a, I believe it's witch hazel based. Uh, aloe vera. Yeah, witch hazel. So it's witch hazel based, 100% essential oils once again. Organic, does it say on here how organic this one is? No. But it's pretty much the same as the creams and 100% essential oils. So you could splash of that all over the place. Now this doesn't have any menthol in it, but it has wild mint, and the wild mint just is wild, I tell you. It is one of the best smelling citrus splashes or citrus anything you will ever smell. That mint with all the citrus just smells absolutely beautiful. Now I'm not sure how much that stuff actually retails for now. I've had this for over a year. It smells as good if not better than it did back when I first got it. So as you can see, it's a sort of just a ever so slightly limey greeny colour. I just give it a little quick shape beforehand, but one thing I've noticed is the oils don't sort of rise to the top in that. It just stays all the time. It stays the same colour. It looks the same pretty much for me. That mint just cools your skin down. Feels great. Absolutely brilliant. And that is pretty much me finished. So I'm just going to rinse the brush off. I was going to put the balm on, but I don't think I need it. I think there's, a, there's enough skin food with the witch hazel and the aloe vera and stuff inside that splash. I've probably saved the bands more for the really cold weather when the skin starts getting a little bit, gets a little bit harsher on the skin outside. And by really cold, I mean like seven degrees <laughs> Celsius. It's actually been a, it was a really nice shave actually, I'm quite surprised. I, I didn't think I would enjoy using these razors, but I'm, they're, they're nice to use. Definitely nice to use. But I still stand by the way I look at them. I wouldn't buy them and put them in my den. I just would not. They just don't interest me enough to do that. I much prefer double-edged razors. I get a better shave from them as well. Okay, so I'm finished with the splash. I'll just rinse my bowl out. I'm starting to waffle a lot of shit now. I'll rinse this bowl out. And then I'll finish off with a product I've been using for the last week and a half which I've been using for on and off for years. 
long before weight shaving, it was nothing to do with shaving really. But it's a product that I just thought I'm just going to give this a go and it's really helping. I think this is what's actually helping my skin, helping my skin regenerate and, and get rid of this redness. As you can see, I don't know how it looks on camera. I'm looking in the mirror, my neck doesn't look really red at all. I can still see sort of just there, there, there and there, very lightly compared to what it used to be. So the product I'm talking about is this stuff, bio oil. Now, I know this is available pretty much the world around. It is a, a very well-known product. I don't know what the general consensus is on it, but I've used it before. And basically, if you see on the back there, let's have a look, it's quite hard to see. One of these lists here is stretch marks. Now, and scars, uneven skin tone, aging skin, dehydrated skin. Now, I used to be quite a heavy bloke. I was way up over 100 kilos. I now fluctuate between 84 to 89 kilos in that sort of bracket. I like to be obviously nearer the 84, but at the moment I'm up near 89 because I've been off offline with my operation and stuff for the last two, two and a bit weeks. So this stuff really helped me. I, I had a few stretch marks and things like that on my side and, and it didn't really bother me, but I just thought I would try this product and it works. It doesn't get rid of the stretch mark. It doesn't get rid of it all, but what it does is it takes all that pink pigment out of it. it just clears the colour of your skin and just evens out the tones and what I found is I've been putting this on my neck and it sounds daft but whenever I go for a piss where my shaving cabinet is this sits on top of my shaving cabinet and I don't generally hold myself when, I, when I'm doing it and more so since I've had the operation and that's really when I started using this again because I don't really hope I just stand there and it just goes where it's supposed to rather than all over the wall and up on the ceiling and stuff when you've got the condition I had so I just started just rubbing a little bit on my neck and I haven't really paid much attention but I have noticed that my neck has really, really cleared up since I started using it. Now I've been using it once a day, uh, sometimes twice and I'm talking like a tiny little bit on my fingertip, just literally shaking the ball. So I'll just show you now. So I literally put my finger right on top, just give it a shake and all it does is it puts that amount on your fingertip. Hopefully you can see that shininess. And then all I've been doing is just literally just rubbing that tiny little bit of oil. I do it once for each sort of little bit of redness and scar section. Just all on the bottom of my neck. That's where it tends to get me really bad with the, with the redness. And it was pretty bad of late. The carved razor has helped a, a hell of a lot because it's such a smooth razor. I'm not getting that irritation I used to get. But this stuff here, I, I swear by it, it is amazing stuff. I mean, all that's in this, I believe, let me just, I just want to double check. Yeah, there's nothing on here. The only thing that it says is it contains the breakthrough ingredient, purcell and oil, and that's it. There's no ingredients list on here. It might have been on the box. So I'm not sure whether there is more in this. There probably is, but the, the results, if you remember my neck, what it looked like, speak for themselves. It's really cleared my neck up. I can hardly see the scars or the stretch marks. I had stretch marks on my neck. That's what those red bits are. So just another product out there. If you if you do have the similar sort of product, I mean, I know bigger guys that lose the weight will most likely have that issue. It just helps. It just helps clear up that redness from the stretch marks and the scars. And it, it really does work. And I've been putting it on the top of my lip as well with this, because this, this was a cold sore. So hopefully it starts clearing that up as well. So we'll hopefully see some progress with this as well. Other than that, that's a really nice shave. I'm really happy. Lovely post shave feel from the Alvaro products again. I do also have the balm. I've got it in this bottle and I've also got it in the, the newer bottle, which looks like that. The brush for today was the Brush Guy brush from Matt Martin over in the States. Stunning brush. As you've seen, the lather over the top of the bowl was spotless. Absolutely brilliant lather. Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grail Ball was my bowl of choice for the day. Well, it was my only bowl of choice really for shaving because it's the only one I own. And the razor, the mongoose, was very, very nice. It, it did an excellent job. I don't think it's as nice as the Colonial General, but we'll find out tomorrow. I'll be using the General tomorrow. And what I am planning on doing is rather than chopping and changing through all my soaps at the moment, as I have been picking one from different brands and scents and all that, I'm going to do a bit of a stretch on every brand, so I've just finished my Albado run. I'll be starting the Noble Otter tomorrow, so I'll do five shaves with the Noble Otter in a row with the, each scent. 
and obviously review them as I go along and the, the base and the sense and all of that and then I might move on to Barristan Man or Wickham or Phoenix and Bow or Sterling and just work through the full set and I've got Viking as well oh, I'm trying to think what else I've got, Ladder Bros so I'm going to work through just the sets of stuff uh, or well, I say sets, some of them have only got one set and some of them have got two sets, three but I'm going to try to stick to a, a uniformed brand until I'm done with them and then move on to the next brand uh, it just gives me a little bit more in sync with what I'm going to use rather than going in and going shit what I'm going to use today and sniffing every tub at least I'll only have a certain section to actually have a smell and go that's the one I'm using today so other than that guys I hope you enjoyed that pretty long video today or hopefully it's been semi informative in regards to what I've used and other than that stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive actually do you know what before I go anywhere if you actually make it to the end of the video another wet tuber out there I will mention them more in my next video because it's a bit wrong to do it right at the very end because not a lot of people watch these videos to the end. Kai Triska. Kai as in the Kai Blade. Triska as in Tango, Romeo, India, Sierra, Kilo, Alpha. There you go, if you know your phonetic alphabet. Check him out. He started his new own channel up not too long ago. He's got a cracking head of hair, prick. And seems like a really nice dude. He's been messaging on Facebook and stuff like that. A really nice guy. And he's a straight razor shaver and his straight razor technique is excellent, really, really good. I enjoyed watching his, I watched my fir his first, not his first shave, but I watched for the first time last night and doing a shave using, I think it was Barrister's Reserve, oh, Spice. And it was brilliant, really good, lovely razor that he used as well, his lather was spot on. He's asking me for tips and I'm like, fucking tips, just talk shit, mate. If you can talk shit on a camera for 20 to 25 minutes, you'll be absolutely fine. So... You're shaving shit hot, mate. I can't really grumble with that. I've never tried a straight. Hopefully one day I will. And see how I go with it. But other than that, stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers.